All right. This next video is uh from a uh YouTube I've been watching. Damn, I'm not subscribed. Damn, why? What is this? I've been watching for a while. Why ain't none of my shit? Why ain't he's anyway? Dude is Peas World. He make dope content. Um, I've been I thought I was subscribed to him for a while. Apparently not. Anyway, this uh video is angry lesbian crashes out on woman after being cheated on. So uh. I if my man would approach me today and tell me that he cheated, this is my reaction. Oh, okay, well, with who? Okay, well, do you have anything else to tell me? Because I've got to go. I need to get my nails done. You need to learn to handle your emotions. Because the moment you start breaking down and having this huge outlash on him, you cheated on me, how could you do this to me? You are giving him so much emotional power over you. The damage is already done. Do not cry. Do not scream. Do not have a crazy mental breakdown because that just proves to him how he has you wrapped around his finger. How affected you are. I mean, I don't think that works the same way it does for... I think he's just going to think that you've been cheating on him. ...by every single move he makes. How affected you are by him cheating on you. What you're going to do instead is become ice cold. You're not going to show any emotion. Save your tears for your girlfriends, for your therapy, whatever it is, okay? You got to process. Or just leave, like, while stay in a relationship. You can just leave and get cheated on. Like, don't do all that. Like, now you're just playing psychological warfare, and that's going to be detrimental to you. That shit. However, you're not showing that to him. Never open up to them. Never tell them how you feel. Never tell them how much you really like them. Don't do any of that stuff. All your power. Why did... Why did, why did dude have a power in just certain that video, bro? <laughs> bro, look, dude had a power in this shirt, bro. Damn, bro, and calling me out. Look, for your therapy, whatever it is, okay? You gotta process that shit. However, you're not showing that to him. Never open up to them. Never tell them how you <laughs> feel. Never tell them how much you really like them. Don't do any of that stuff. All your power gonna be gone. Cause guess what? She's like, okay, now I got the power to do what I want to do. When you open up to them, oh, it's over. She's like, okay, I know I'm number one now. Now I can do what I want to do. You always want to keep a woman guessing on how you feel about her. She should never know how you feel about her. She should never know how much you really care. She should not know any of that. That's none of her business. And this goes for your problems too. Never open up to a woman about what you're going through. Cause I'm telling you right now, they will use that against you. I'll treat them like the feds. I know whatever I tell you, you gonna use it on me in court. So. Hey, I'm gonna use my rights and remain silent. That's how we operate over here. <laughs> I don't want to even to say. I know I paused it at the right time, but I mean, I understand not expressing your feelings to certain females because they will use that against you. I, bro, I've gotten that stuff used against me so many times, so I understand it. But I look at it like this: like you can get them, like say you did open up to them they got one time to flip that shit around you and once they do that you know like she could like oh, women just do that bro women just do that and it sucks but it is what it is so after that one time she do that you know not to do it no more and i'm not saying break up with because like a lot of women genuinely and I'm not gonna say you're not gonna have problems with your relationship, but a lot of women do do that, like without even thinking. They need to. That's just something they're wired to do. So she can be perfect, but have do that one time, and you know, not to do it no more. I've been saying it. <laughs> I've been saying it's the same thing. And some people didn't believe me. Some people said I'm capping. No, it's not the same thing. When you see it back to back, it looks a bit spooky, okay? <laughs> but I wonder why these people never find each other. Bro. A guy who is hot is he, going to be... Bro, he is... Bro, why don't the awful people find each other? That's the thing, bro. I don't know, he be speaking facts, bro. For real. He looks a bit spooky, okay? But I wonder why these people never find each other.
A guy who is hot is going to be perceived as funnier. He's going to be perceived as having a better personality, as more intelligent, even more if he likeable. isn't. More likable, yeah. even if he isn't. And they've done some really silly studies here. I mean, it's terrible, but they've put photos and biographies, kind of like a dating app, and mixed and matched them to try and determine the effect of looks versus personality. And there was a study on women where they did this. There were moderately hot guys, there were hot guys, and not so hot guys. And the personality changed whether the hot guy or the moderately hot guy was preferred. But no matter what, the not hot guy was not preferred. Personality mattered if a guy was hot enough. So the guys who were very unattractive, they were rated as having worse personalities than they would have if they were hot, and they were rated as less dateable overall than the hot guys. It is just one study, but there's other studies that converge on this, this idea that if you're past a certain level of hotness, then personality makes a difference. But if you're not attractive enough for a person's standards, then personality, it might Sounds matter, different. but it doesn't quite make a difference. Because it's so funny, I'll share the second part of this study. They had the women's mothers come in and were like, choose someone for your daughter to date. And you'd think it's like, like, gosh, I mean, the mothers are surely going to pick based on personality okay. because they don't have to be with the guy physically, one would hope. And yet they went through the same selective pattern as their daughters. Now, from a social perspective, this is pretty hard to get your head around because it's like, well, they don't. I mean, that's that's kind of saying that the moms did the same thing, but that that's, that's how you know it's taught to women. You know what I'm saying? Like, this, these, these things are taught, my boy. Not fucking... Um, I mean, yes, like women, you know, they gain stuff through life and like their social surroundings, but a lot of shit they're going to do is talk like Apple don't fall far from the tree don't have to sleep with their daughter's boyfriend, so why do they care what he looks like? Right. But from a basic sexual selection perspective, right, from yeah. a biological perspective, it's like, well, that's their grandchild that they're talking about. And so they have to care about the same things for the same reason that one might want a good-looking husband to have children with. You'd also want a good-looking man to help produce your grandchild. I think with a lot of this data, we have to be very wary that this is online dating. This is about online dating. In real life, I feel like all of this goes out the window because me personally, I don't know about you guys, but me personally, the guys that I know that get the most girls, the guys that I know that have the most kids are ugly and broke. Keep it 100 with you, they're ugly and broke. Okay, they, the most things they're doing, the most. But when you date on... But they got the most time and them be the ones that like, they be catching, a lot of them ugly dudes be catching those girls down bad and they get them pregnant. So just that's, that's just the bounce off what he's saying, bro. You know what I'm saying? He not lying though. Online and women have the, you know, the perception of options just crazy. Of course, in real life, of course they want, you know, women want their prime suspect to be X, Y, Z. You know what I'm saying? Of course, but that ain't what happens. You know what I'm saying? They're going to go for the most attractive, the best looking, the most money, whatever the case is. But in real life, it's completely different. True. We've been in this is a very long time. Like we are young right now and we will be young for a very long period of time. And I feel like if more people knew that and understood that, then they wouldn't freak out so much about aging because just because you're mean you're getting older doesn't mean you're not still in this youthful period. I was just talking about this with my boyfriend and then I was like, oh, this would be a great TikTok. 10 years from now when I'm 36, I will still be young. I don't think that you can use childhood as an entity to even serve as a frame of reference for what youthfulness is. Like you can't, well, let me explain. If you are brand spanking new to the earth and you're just figuring out like how to talk, how to walk, the basics of everything, the basics of the society that you live in, that is so different from where I am now, now that I know the rules, I know how things work, but I'm still so new to it all. Now I get to utilize my knowledge and I'm still figuring out what's going on. Oh, and before anyone's like, because your brain develops at 25, your brain does not develop at 25. I have a YouTube video, uh, you know where to find links, coming out about this in a few days, but like, that is a myth, that is a pop science myth. Brain development is actually a lot more complicated than that. Back to what I was saying, youth is not fleeting, that's just what people want you to think so that you buy like preventative Botox or start feeling bad about yourself because you're 30. People worry about getting old when I actually start to approach middle age. I enjoy the period of being in my 20s. I enjoy that sometimes I know a lot, but sometimes I know very little. That's the joy of being 26. I'm someone who keeps the company of old people, and if you've been following me for a couple of years, then you know that back when I was in Pittsburgh, I used to use old people workout classes because I love them and they're really easy on the joints. So I'm like deep in the bingo halls, like deep in friendships with Miss Pauline and Miss Ernestine. And I'm telling you that like age is just a number, youth is a permanent mentality. Girls that were living their lives and like having fun and having, you know, just like stuff that I would want to emulate, 
they were like 70 80 90 even but they just had a mentality that like life is for living that's gonna be me i've said this before in another video but like i love sitting on the porch how exciting is it gonna be to sit on the porch with all the stories that i've made now and all the life that i've lived but for now i'm still a very young person the expiration date is not near everything's fine and i'm good with that so you know what this is um this is pure copium um, this is a woman <laughs> trying to cope with the fact that she's getting older we're young for such i mean <laughs> I see what she's trying to say. Like, youth is a mindset, but you still biologically hit your wall and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, but if you look at certain cultures, like, you know, back in the day, like, um, like, uh, middle, some Middle Eastern cultures, like, you would stay with your family until, um, like, the man would stay with their family until like their parents got older and they took care of them and then like the wife that they married would move into their family and you wasn't a man until you was like the head of the house like doing everything you know what i'm saying and that could be like in your 40s or 50s like because your parents were still around you know what i'm saying you inherited all this stuff so that's just some certain things that i learned about different cultures and so like um but in other cultures like you know like vikings and stuff like they would send their um the 15 year olds when they get 15 like they would you know do their trek in the wilderness and like become a man but i think that was more like teaching them how to become a man like live out the land so you won't die like you know what i'm saying so you learn like you be with your pops you learn stuff then it's time for you to do it and then you're capable of taking care of yourself but you're also able to you know protect others if you need be you know what I'm saying? But you still didn't leave the house until, like, using your 30s. You know what I'm saying? Unless, like, your family was, like, you know, farmers and stuff like that. And then you stayed and inherited your stuff. It wasn't until there, um, relatively recently where times changed where, like, our family started kicking everybody out and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Where, and I think that just happened with, like, how the U.S. raised people and culture and stuff like that. But that's a whole other topic. I don't want to get off topic because I did that for my last video. And I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, keep going. It's a long time. The average life expectancy across the world, I'm pretty sure, is like 70. When you're 35, you're halfway there. And that's not young. Just accept the fact that people age. It's normal. There's nothing wrong with being old. As a matter of fact, I want to be 70 one day. Just like you want to be 70 one day. Just like you want to be 50. I want No, yeah. Like, I get what he's saying, too. Like, there's nothing wrong with getting older and getting wiser. But that goes back to, like, you know, don't lose yourself with getting older. Like, no, you got to take care of yourself. And you got to um, get better with, you know, you know, just mature with time. But like me, like, I've been de delving deep more with my childhood now than i did when i was in in my childhood like you know i'm starting my whole retro my uh, my my whole retro stuff you know wanting to stream retro games and do all of that dope stuff and then um cosplaying as power rangers and shit like that you know um travel i would get to travel but i'm doing it with the stuff i love you know and i'm streaming and I'm talking about the stuff that I love in the world. And, I, and I'm, and i you know, glad that I was able to um, live the life that I lived and been able to stay in tune with my childhood. Because a lot of people get old, miserable, working at fucking jobs they don't like, come home to a wife or a girlfriend that tolerates them don't get to do much don't get to travel just turn on they don't even get to enjoy games no more you know what i'm saying they they may turn on the game and fall asleep you know what i'm saying like there's a lot of people out here living day by day miserable not enjoying life not enjoying nothing you know what i'm saying and, I, and i'm thankful that i get to and i'm living life and i get to enjoy it how i want to you know what i'm saying i'm in tune with my childhood i'm in tune with the kid inside Cause that's the person you gotta heal to be happy you know what i'm saying but that's a whole another topic too i want to be 50. i want to but i want to be old too like i want to be I, w I can't wait to be that old grandpa sitting on the porch with my steam deck playing fucking games that's all i want to do is have my steam account playing games and when i get old and i can't do that shit no more 
I want to watch my grandkids play video games. And I just want to sit back and chill. Or watch my kids play video games. Be 45. I want to be 48. I want to be older one day. I don't try to die right now. People have this negative mindset towards aging, trying to make up all these different type of things to cope with the fact that they're getting older. Man, you are getting older. In 10 years, you ain't going to be young. Oh, no. Yep, and then um, like me for I uh, take me for again, like my mom passed away, um, when I was seven, but she passed away two three days after her thirtieth birthday, and I just turned thirty one. So it's just like my whole year when I like when I was thirty, like was super depressing for me, because my mom like I've lived longer than my mom has lived. Like to me, that's insane. Thinking about it. you, you don't think like like you don't. You know what I'm saying? Like that mindset for me is like crazy to wrap my head around. Like your parents is supposed to, you know, live. You 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 try to match your parents' age and stuff, and like you know, to see see them grind. They got my dad and stuff, but it's just like, you know, my mom. Like she she died so young, and now that I'm here, like she was so young when she had kids. You know what I'm saying? Like, 30 is young. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, 30... Like, damn, and I sound like her. 30 is necessarily young, but, like, in your life, like, it's still... Like, she still has so much more life to live. You know what I'm saying? So, it's just, like, enjoy life for what it is, not for what it can be. You know what I'm saying? And, but, yeah, enjoy it for what it can be and try to make those things happen. But, like, like he's saying, I want to get older. I want to. I want to be 85. I want to be 95. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's nothing wrong with that. Enjoy it. But, like, also understand, like, when you get those ages, like, it's still fine to look back. Because, like, I look back at when I was 7, 8, 9, 10. And I remember all that. And that's why, like, I'm starting the retro stuff. I'm going back. And I'm trying to preserve these games. So, like, I have these stories to tell my kids, like, Oh, when I played this game when I was your age, it was da 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 da. You know what I'm saying? Like, I get to tell my kids that and show them that. You know what I'm saying? That's all I got to say about it. But yeah, I'm I'm with them on that. Thirty six, young? Where? Where? I see what they're both. Bitches be on some. Okay, like he he done stole seven years from me. I had his baby. Like I for his mom. Like all right. Like maybe like I've had enough. Her PS five was on. Hold on, I, didn't, I think I didn't I've hear, had enough. I didn't hear what uh she got a PS5 in the background. That's that's what threw me off. But then I thought my PS5 was on. Hold on. Bitches be on some okay, like he he done stole seven years from me. I had his baby, like I for his mom, like alright, like maybe like I've had enough. I think I've had enough. And then they date a motherfucker that's just like the first one. And they do the same thing. They have the baby. Five years go by and they sitting there like. Why? You know, like they actually have the. I hate a hoe that go on Instagram and want to post quotes. Because we're just clowning you. Nobody gives a fuck. Like you're you're a fucking loser. You know, like and we know it. Too. He knows it too. You know it too. Um, y'all both know it. And y'all kids know it, too. Um, but they really have the audacity to sit there and be on some, like, like, why me? And y'all, bruh, tell me right now, how many girls will pop to y'all head? They be on Facebook, post, post some quotes, and they still dealing with the motherfucker that beat them and shit, bruh. Oh, my God, those bitches are delusional. You literally made your own bed dusted it off made your own bed again and climbed into that bitch sleep in that hoe i mean there were no lies told but i don't know why you're crushing out like this you sound so angry so uh, i don't get it <laughs> the last time i saw you you had this glow and this spark in your eye like what happened i've dated men and i've dated women right um for majority of my life even with dating women i've i've just been on some i don't know if i don't know if i would really f like want to be fully committed or or i don't you know I, I didn't i just i wasn't sure right but um when i finally decided you know what yeah because yeah because men 
Just say it. It's cool. <laughs> just say it. It's cool. We're okay with it. It's, it's 2024 now. We know what the deal is, okay? It's shit on men's season. Just say it. I was like, you know what? All right, let me do it. And then I met a girl, and we, we're together, and as you can see from my TikTok, and it's wonderful. And I really had to make the decision to really discuss just how wonderful it really is to date a woman, okay? Like, for example, um, and they say this a lot about, like, women who are together in romantic relationships that y'all constantly talk about our feelings all your feelings we constantly talk about our feelings there's never a fucking moment where i could really be on some like i i don't know how you're feeling there's no fucking shot like in this video she went and talk about how the communication was great and how you know she was so deeply in love and you know that she gonna post her more often and do all this lovey-dovey stuff and she never had a never had someone <laughs> she was doing all that so to see you crashing out on women like this now why wait I keep what getting a lot of dms yo this the same girl oh my god Oh, look at her. Bro, she went from being super happy to telling them make that bed to, oh, my God. Look at the eyes, bro. Oh, my God. And the comments on, oh, like, uh, do couples videos and are y'all doing a couples costume for the woman that I had posted about three weeks ago? Um, but... They only dated three weeks? They only dated three weeks? Update, she cheated on me. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, bro! Damn, welcome to our world, big boy, big pimp. Yeah, y'all ain't shit for real, for real. <laughs> oh my god! Oh. <laughs> Was it with a dude? Oh, bro, if if she cheated on her with a dude and got some, oh, she went and got the Pennsylvania on you? Oh, my God, what a joke. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, bro. That's unfortunate. But, yeah, so. <laughs> he ruthless. <laughs> he ruthless, bro. He ruthless. There will be no more updates um moving forward y'all just get me but what i am gonna do i'm gonna take obviously i'm gonna take some time off dating because i don't really have the energy right now um when i do get back into dating i feel like a dating diaries would be a lot of fun what's your age 43 are you single i'm single at 43 what's the youngest girl you'd date i mean i wouldn't date anybody less than 18 yeah 18 so 18 is the youngest you'd go <laughs> This <laughs> oh, oh, ah. bro, what <laughs> you're 43, bro. Those dudes are sick, dude. I'm sorry, man. Dudes that in their 40s dating like 20 year olds and 18 year olds, bro, are sick, bro. And they manipulating these girls, bro. Oh my gosh. No, no, wait, no, I don't think. And he said it like it's okay to go lower. Like he said, I'm not doing below 18 like he like he has done below 18. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. You don't see any issues with that having that much of an age gap. No, she can join the military, she can buy a gun, she can smoke a cigarette, she can travel into the world, she's an adult. She's an adult that they can go to college, be free, travel the world. She's she's an adult. But I mean, what would you, a uh, forty-three-year-old man, have in common with an eighteen-year-old woman? Sexual. Nothing but sex. That's all they're doing. Attraction, confidence, experience, protection, provision. And you feel like you'd be able to provide more for her than a guy her age would? Absolutely, one hundred percent. So why does society frown upon that then? I would say there's a lot of men that have their children and always want to view them as their little girl but they're not the biblical verse is is that when a man or a woman becomes of age you leave your parents and now you're an adult to choose to cling to somebody else to become one that's what sex is becoming one with somebody a lot of 
guys think it's daddy's little girl forever. It's like she wants to have she wants to have her own daddy. You know what I mean? Like. So what do you guys think about this? Could you date an 18 year old? Me personally, I could never. I could. I don't even know why I talk about the 18 year old. I keep it real with you, okay? My age range is 22 to 26. That's it. I ain't going older than that. I ain't going younger than that. But dating an 18 year old. I don't, I, legally, there's nothing wrong with it. She's out of, right? You're right. But if you if you know an 18 year old, I know an 18 year old. My nephew's 18. <laughs> he's he's an adult in age, but ah, not really. Dumb as a box of rocks. Like I wouldn't date no 18 year old. Hell, I. There's a big age gap with the girl I'm with now. Hell, nah, fucking. It was like it threw me for a loop. I usually, I, I, for the longest time, I dated girls my age or older. But it's just like dating young girls. It's just like they just don't know about life, and they all. It was crazy. Like they have kids and stuff, and they're just maneuvering through life just going through it struggling got a lot of shit on their plate and it's just like it's a lot it's a lot to to process and it's just like it's an older dude you've already been through all of that so it's just like i don't want to go through that shit again it's just mm, oh i can't man and for 40 year olds to mm. really like you know what i'm saying not really not really Like I said, I lost 10 pounds already. Um, I can't really eat. Like, I like, like I'm chewing gum now. Did she say I lost my kids? Bro, what? I'm, I miss my kids. Like I said, I lost 10 pounds already. Um, I can't really eat like I like like I'm chewing gum now. Close your mouth. <laughs> Close your mouth. How are you supposed to raise kids with man if you're, you're chewing like this? Now, if you don't know who this is, I posted the video yesterday. Okay, the woman she brought a child in to Walmart, no clothes on. The child was just in diapers in this weather. That was her. That's her. They took her kid. Yo, people been asking me what I'm wearing. I'm inside. I'm inside. <laughs> this woman brought her kid to Walmart, right, with a diaper on. They have to get the police, get the child away from her, rightfully so. Now she's come on the internet, chewing like she ain't got no house trading, talking about how much she miss her kids. That baby, that baby had a trash bag on, y'all. Like that baby had a trash bag on, and now she missed him. That baby, the boy, she, she's lucky she's not in jail. So, now she's coming on the internet, chewing like she ain't got no house trading, talking about how much she miss her kids. Wow, stuff like that. She had, she ain't had no house training back then like bro she the baby didn't ha the baby was shivering bro that is so fucking sad bro damn that was heartbreaking to watch Look at how much she missed her kids okay so that was 26 year old cambria darcy who was recently arrested after she took her two-year-old son to walmart in 20 degree freezing weather with him wearing only a diaper now this woman went to walmart with a sweater jeans shoes something over her hair while her son had on nothing she was confronted by several other people in the store alongside a walmart employee who recorded the entire encounter a walmart customer finally went and bought the little boy an outfit while she sat there and scrolled on her phone the children were eventually removed from her custody and this was her video response and instead of recognizing the error of her way she continued with the same nonchalant sarcastic attitude that she had in the video that was posted online and while so many people are celebrating the fact that these children have been removed from her custody the truth is the courts and the system is going to work on reunification as they should she will be given the opportunity to right her wrongs and if she doesn't her children will be left without a mother
Just because a woman's body can produce a baby does not mean her mind is ready to raise one. If we can start teaching our young ladies about womanhood before they go into mommyhood, maybe it'll help stop ruining a lot of childhoods. Like I said yesterday, if the government gets hold of this child, nobody wins. As someone who's worked in foster care, or not foster care, but in child care, it's not it. The best thing we can hope for is this cave woman, okay, fixes up and learns how to become a parent somehow. But to me, this is just another advertisement of people who shouldn't be having kids. He right. He right. But he, I mean, he right. Granted, kids need their parents, no matter how bad the parents can be. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's still nothing like having your parent. Like, kids are going to grow up and wonder why, like, you know, that's just a lot of trauma that's just making and festering. You know, some some kids, you know, understand the fault of their parents and then, you know, be thankful that, you know, they grew up elsewhere. But they still have that, like, hole missing. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people go through that trauma and then just wonder, you know, why them? You know what I'm saying? And then a lot of foster parents ain't shit either. Just be, ugh, bro, it's a, it's a cycle. It's a... It, it, it can turn into a cycle, bro. Nah, that's the end of the video. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Go, uh, go get him a follow. He dope. I like watching his videos all the time. But, uh, yeah. I, uh, damn, I did not know she got her kids taken away. Anyway, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.